Hi, I'm Emma Blinkley. I'm the editor of the Culture Desk, and we're here getting ready for Norman Music Festival next week. I'm Bo Jennings, and I am uh, the lead singer of the band Bo Jennings and the Tigers. Yeah, so I know um, from what I've seen you since the time you broke up, but you're back. What brought you back? Yeah, that's right. I spent about um, spent about seven years in Brooklyn playing music. Um, well, I'm from here. I have a lot of family here, and uh, at some point, it just made sense to just to come back. And this is where we have kids here, yeah. so uh, come back home. What took you to Brooklyn in the first place? Uh, my girlfriend at the time, who became my wife, uh, but also I just. You know, like I said, I'm from here, and it was really the only place I'd lived. So I just I wanted to get out and yeah. experience other places, and so it was it was a really great, valuable time. What um, coming back to Oklahoma? What's what have been like the changes in those two music scenes, and kind of what is special about Oklahoma music? Scene? You know, I feel like the Oak. Oklahoma music scene is um, it feels unique to me I haven't I haven't lived in a ton of places I've lived in Brooklyn and I've lived a little bit in Austin and I've traveled around touring and just visiting places there is something strangely unique about the, the talent that we have here I don't know what to attribute that to um, people say there's something in the water at, you know I don't know if you I don't know if you could go to Omaha Nebraska or um, I don't think you could. Again, I don't know why, but I, I do think it's true that we have a lot of talent. Yeah. Um, what are, so if you could just describe the sound of the band in three words, what would they be? Three words. Is that too important? Three words. Uh, I guess rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's three. Um, and then what are, what are some influences for you personally and then for the band as well as a mortal collective? I love a lot of uh, just classic American rock. I love Tom Petty, John Mellencamp. I love Johnny Cash, Tom Waits. A lot. I just, that's just kind of my favorite stuff to listen to. Uh, thankfully, the band is a little more varied in their influences. Um, I almost don't want to name anything, but they, they can do all kinds of things, and they everybody in my band is in another band, mm -hmm. so uh, they bring a lot to the table um, when, I, when I bring songs to them. They, they can really find a lot of cool new avenues to take in the songs. How did, um, how did the group come together? Uh, my friend Bradley used to host a noodling tournament in Paul's okay. Valley called Oki Noodling. And he needed a band okay. to play it. And I had just moved back and I didn't have a band yet. And so I called some old friends and we got together. They had already been calling themselves the Tigers and backing okay. up other songwriters. It would oh, be so and so and the Tigers. Okay. So that particular show, we called it Bo Jennings and the Tigers, and it just kind of stuck. Yeah. Um, do you think that people that listen to your music? have similar, also listen to the people that you're influenced by? I think so. I think they probably, um, I guess it depends on what age you're talking about. Yeah. But um, I think a lot of people that uh, are into that, into those influences I mentioned, um, you know, I'm, I, I wear my influences on my sleeve. I'm not, you know, I, I put my own spin on it, uh -huh. but I'm happy to, uh, you know, to Knowledge that influence. Yeah. How did you start making music? What got you into it? That's a great question. I guess in high school, a friend loaned me a guitar. Okay. And uh, I think I had always been more interested in writing, really. And like um, writing, like prose? just I love to read okay. all yeah. my whole life. I've always loved to read, and my favorite songs were always stories. Right. And. Uh, and then I'd never really thought about playing guitar or considered songwriting, but he loaned it to me and I, I just took to it. And then 
those things just kind of came together. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of Norman Music Festival, what has been your involvement with that and um, what are you most excited about this year? I mean, I have to say I'm pretty lucky. I I played the very first one. Oh, wow. In, uh, this will date me, I guess. I think it was in 2008. Okay, yeah, that's what... Uh, but my friend uh, Andy was running a club called The Opolis. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember him calling me up and said, hey, we're doing something called Norman Music Fest. Would you want to play? So that sounds really fun. And uh, so I, I just love to watch it grow. Yeah. Um, it's been really inspiring to see how a group of people came together and, and put the festival together. They've kept it free all these years. And they've kept it growing and there's been no major disasters or anything and it's brought a lot of cool uh, acts to town that wouldn't be here otherwise and I think it's helped grow uh, music. What do you think the impact is for artists who are kind of starting their journey with music in Oklahoma? And two part, and what um, you think the impact is on the wider I mean, I think it gives bands that uh, maybe wouldn't otherwise have that chance of uh, chance to play for bigger crowds. Um, you know, a lot of bands they play really often. They play often. They play Campus Corner once a week, and you know, a lot of times people say, "When can I come see you play?" And it gives them the the chance to say, "Well, maybe I'm every Wednesday at this venue." But you should come to this. You should come to see us on the music fest, and it, 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 the whole thing is just an elevated experience. It's a better, generally, a better sound system, better stage, bigger crowds. Um, so the, the, I, I think it just gives bands uh, an opportunity for that, you know, experience a little, a little, little step up for the community. Um, I think it makes a lot of people that wouldn't otherwise normally go to the deli right. or. I, I keep using the deli as an example, but I think it just gives yeah. them a chance to uh, experience music that's not a right. yep. Um If you could, if there's one song on your set list that you, you've had to play on one song, what would it be? If you had to play one song for the set. Oh, on repeat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say um, there's a song we do called Back in Town that has. Uh, it has an extended outro that uh, we're actually extending even more for, for this show. Okay. So uh, make sure you come see that. But uh, we could, uh, I guess in theory, we could extend that to a 45 minute. Yeah. <laughs> Why that song? Uh, other than the outro, is there anything else about that one that. Uh, you know, it's probably the closest we've had to a hit. <laughs> but also, I, I, I like playing it. It's, uh, it's just fun. Yeah. Um, overall, what do you hope that people take away from you? Well, for this show, I mean, so we're releasing a record in October, so it's still a few months out, mm -hmm. but um, we'll, we'll be playing a couple songs from that record for the first time uh, at Norman Music Fest. And uh, yeah, I hope people just uh, hear those tunes and get excited for the record. Yeah. Um, and then switching gears a little bit, what are some of your favorite spots in Norman? Restaurants, um, coffee shops, places to, to play music? Or just, oh, wow, spots? okay. Well, you, we're meeting here at Second Wind. I've never been here before, which is a shame, but uh, this is excellent coffee, so I'm glad, glad to add this to the list. Um, I love uh, Midway Deli. I love going there. I love eating there, and I love playing there. Um, I like this increase the standard. Uh, they have great, great atmosphere. I'll always love going to the Opolis. I'll love, always love going to uh, the diner. Kind of, I kind of like the old school stuff, but I, I like the new stuff too. I like it all. Do you want to just say when you'll be playing and what stage? And all right. Oh, Jennings and the Tigers play the Gray Street stage on Saturday. I think it's April twenty seventh. That sound right? Uh, at eight fifty. 